welcome back to our channel. So if you can't tell, we are in a new location today. We are in the kitchen today and we are gonna be cooking up some healthy treats for you guys today. We are straight chefing it up today and um, we're just gonna show you some really, really easy, healthy kind of smoothies and treats. Yeah, so let's just get into it. So if you guys know anything about us, we have been on a huge health kick lately because I have been so sick, so it's really important to take care of your health. So exactly. we're gonna be making a smoothie for the first recipe. And this is really perfect for us because we have such a hard time eating lunch. Oh my gosh, I think I don't just, know what it is. After we eat breakfast, we're working so much throughout the day that all of a sudden it becomes 5 p.m. and we're like, oh no, we didn't eat. And so then like we're starving. So yeah. we actually have been using these Nutri Blends, which are kind of like a meal replacement protein powder. So basically what we're gonna do, this smoothie is so easy. So easy. All we're gonna do is take some mixed berries and this is is raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries, and they are frozen. So I'm gonna just add that to my blender. And you could really use any combination of frozen berries that you yeah, want. Yeah, whatever you really want. It's completely up to you and whatever you really like. Exactly. And then I'm just gonna add half a banana, and this is not frozen. This is just a nice ripe banana. Mm. Throw that in there. And then all you need is two scoops of your um, your powder. And this is actually the Caribbean Sunrise flavor, which I thought would be perfect for mm -hmm. more of a fruit-based smoothie. Yeah, and it's really, really good too because we've tried a lot of other types of protein powder like Vega, and those ones are really good too, but they kind of taste a little no, bit too vitamin No, they taste straight vitamin like vitamin. This one does not uh, have that chalky taste to it, which ooh, is it really... Smells, it smells really good too. It, it does. smells like the Caribbean. So like it's perfect if you want anything kind of fruity or tropical or just with your berry smoothie. It's and what's so great about these is they basically have every single thing that you need to nourish your body. So for me, sometimes it's, I love fruits and vegetables, but sometimes it's hard to eat all the fruits and vegetables. Or and get if all, you just forget throughout the day. Exactly, you know? so if you're one of those, this is super helpful. So I got the protein powder in, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. I just like to start with a little bit because you can always add more, just depending on the consistency. Mm -hmm. And then just give it a quick blend. Yeah. Mm, All right. It smells, smells so good. good. It looks good, so I'm just gonna pour it into my fancy little glass here. It has the most beautiful color. Look how like, this is, you guys, and seriously, that was so easy. And you could add anything you want to this. If you want to add some chia seeds, if you want to add some more fruit, some any greens, kind of, whatever really you want. Really anything you want. Also, sometimes we'll just top a little bit of frozen berries on top of it just mm -hmm. to give it a little extra coldness too. And it is so good, you guys, and just so easy and healthy. Let me give it a go. So good. Like I said, it doesn't have that like, mm. You know that mm. almost like, I feel like with some proteins, it almost tastes like you're just chewing vitamins. This actually, you do, it's not like that. And it fills you up because it's like a meal replacement and it mm. keeps you nourished, gives you energy, and it's simple and quick. So that's the first recipe that we've pretty much been reaching towards like the easiest because all you have to do is pop those ingredients in there and you got a bomb smoothie, you guys. All right, so we transferred our smoothie because it is so good that we want to finish it, obviously. But now we're actually going to go into our second little dessert idea that we have been absolutely loving, and you guys. And this one is so bomb because, I mean, you can eat this at any point in time of the day. So good. But I usually like this as kind of like a dessert. A little treat. A little treat So basically night. what we're going to go with here is kind of like a mango strawberry sorbet mm -hmm. kind of thing yes. happening. So we have some frozen mango chunks and some fresh strawberries chopped up so I'm just gonna throw those into our little ninja super simple boom boom all right so after we got those in there now we're going to go in with one scoop of our Caribbean protein powder this stuff is so good too because like Jordan said it's a meal replacement so yeah, so kind of keeps you full and it's guilt-free because you're eating fruit exactly. and you're eating some really good protein and it actually just gives it a little bit of like a creamy depth of it, flavor it does. so it's really really good so we're just gonna go in with one scoop of that this time because we don't want it to be too much so I'm so excited for this so one. good and then we're just gonna go in with some water and since this is gonna be kind of more of like a sorbet -y kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We're just going with a little bit of yeah, water. Yeah, so we want this to be a little bit more thick and exactly. Because if you go in with too much, it'll basically just turn into a smoothie and you don't want it to be that water. You want it to be super thick. So we're gonna pop the lid on and get to blending. Yeah. And if you ever have like some extra protein powder around the side, all you gotta do. All you gotta do. All you gotta do is go in with a spoon or a spatula and just kind of press things down, especially because things are so frozen in there mm -hmm. and it's not like a smoothie. So you might need to give it a little bit of extra help if you don't have like a vitamin. A little bit of a zhuzh. So we're just gonna go with a little zhuzh down there and just give it a little bit more blend. 
Yeah. And we're pretty snatched. I think that looks pretty bomb. Oh my gosh, it smells so good too. So I'm gonna take this little, let me take this from you because this little blade out because be dangerous. it's pretty thick. So you're gonna probably need to get rid of that. Wanna hold this for me? Sure. Be my little holder. So I'm just gonna scoop it out of here because it is so thick. It's pretty much like ice cream that like, yeah. you're gonna need to scoop it. Oh my gosh, and the color, and it's, it's beautiful. So it just is so tropical. Oh, and it smells like a literal tropical destination. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm already gonna try it because I can't wait. Okay, so, so this is the and final I, product. And a lot of times we'll put fruit on top of this. Some extra like, frozen fruit or just some fresh fruit. So good. It's really good. And this is perfect too because like Jordan said, like if you want a dessert late at night or any time mm -hmm. in the day, it's so guilt free and it's exactly. so bomb. Or if it's like, you know, lunchtime and you kind of don't want to eat a big lunch but you don't just want a smoothie, you can make one and of these. And it's so simple and literally mm. three ingredients. Mm. I know. All right, so we're gonna make another shake and this one is for you chocolate lovers you out there. When you need like beans. a chocolate fix. And this one is so flipping easy. So all I'm gonna do is take some almond milk and you can really use any nut milk you want. About a cup and a half maybe ish. Ish, 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 yeah, ish. whatever. And then I'm gonna do half a banana. This is not frozen, this is just a And make sure banana. it's really ripe because the more ripe that it is, the sweeter that it's gonna make your shake and it's gonna make it bomber. Exactly, and this time, we got some Cote de Vore chocolate Cote de flavor. So this is just some chocolate, like, you know, bomb. So I'm gonna add my two scoops. Yeah, and it's basically the same thing as the tropical one, but it's literally just chocolate flavor. So it exactly. is so good and it's so good for you. It's like, what is that? So boom, that's literally it. Like that's I'm it. not even kidding that's you, it. it's so easy. You can even, if you're like trying to be like a little bit extra, you can even like put a scoop of peanut butter in there and make oh. it like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got crazy. Did you see how scared my face was, you she guys? So, scared. <laughs> so yeah, like Haley was saying, you could totally add some peanut butter or almond butter to this. That Ooh, would be bomb. Yeah, that'd make it real bomb. Okay, but now we're actually gonna get to blending, you guys. Yeah. Brown. Okay. Okay. And don't be fooled, we are finishing our other dessert. Of so. we are. You know, I was actually just telling Haley, it's weird that I ever crave actual ice cream when you could just blend frozen fruit and it's even this, It's literally the same thing and it's so much better for you and you don't feel sick afterwards. Like. All right, so here we go. This one's gonna be obviously a little bit more watery in consistency Ooh, because there's no frozen so fruit good. in it. But it is so, so good. This one is pretty much like a decadent like chocolate milk that's healthy for you. But yeah, they're so bomb and honestly, oh, so it's good. really easy and it's perfect when you're on the go. If you need a midday pick me up, if you didn't pack a lunch, or if you're you someone up. who is like actually gonna wake up and go to the gym in the morning, but you don't wanna like eat too big of a breakfast, mm -hmm. it'd be perfect to have before like a good workout or even after when you get home and you don't wanna eat too big of a meal, so. All right, so this last little bomb dessert treat so that we got going on is pretty much just like banana ice cream, but it's better because it's chocolate It's flavored. so good. Cool. We did banana ice cream in our last video, just but so this is chocolate banana ice cream, so it's like on a whole other level. It's, it's up there. So basically, we're just gonna go in with a couple of frozen bananas. These ones are actually minis They're from so the cute. store. So we got three little mini frozen bananas going into the Ninji. <laughs> going into the Ninji, and they go. All right, so to give it its little chocolate moment, we're gonna go in with the Nutriblend chocolate flavored one and we're just gonna go with one scoop of this one too because I'm like waiting since, for this. It's, since it's more of like a dessert you only want like one scoop in there oh my gosh and it smells so good already you guys and then we're gonna add just a little bit of water just to help it blend yeah and the same thing with the sorbet you don't want to make it a smoothie so you just want to add a little bit of water at a time because if you need more you can always add more but you can't take it away people. exactly so then we're just going to blend. boom yeah. okay. So again, like the sorbet, this one is gonna be a lot thicker, so if you don't have a super high powered blender, you might need to kind of go in there and squish it down a little bit. And if you guys have not tried banana ice cream, seriously, do it. It's literally the best because the consistency it is has the so, consistency. It's, I can't even explain it. You guys have to just try it. All right, so we're just gonna go in and give it another blend. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that looks like soft serve. Ooh. That's what it reminds me of, soft serve. AM, PM, soft serve. Do you guys know what's up with that? 
Shout out All to right, you, Dad. So again, we're gonna take out the blade because that can be highly dangerous. And then we're just gonna scoop it into like a little bowl, whatever you please. Oh my gosh. This literally, you guys, has the best consistency ever. And let's do the um, taste test. Mm. This, this is the part that always reminds me of like mm. the Food Network. Ready? I love tasting it because I always want to know if it's really that good. And good. It, is. it really is. It's oh chocolate gosh. ice cream. Like I can't even like. <clears throat> this is like the third time we've actually made this particular kind. And the first time, you guys, I was like, what the heck? It is like the like, best well, thing. Even if you don't really love bananas, you'll probably still oh like banana gosh. ice cream because it's not super banana-y. It's like, it like transforms. Especially, really especially since you can add kind of any kind of flavoring. If you have mm -hmm. any kind of really protein powder, just like and you we can did. top this with nuts, with chocolate, yes. with cacao. You can even sprinkle like any kind of literally anything you want on it. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for our little healthy smoothie and treat recipe. Yeah, we'll link all the information down below. So if you guys wanna learn more about these Nutri Blends, we'll have all that down below. And also we did a blog post with all of the ingredients. That way you guys can recreate these all. Yeah, and time. everything you guys was so easy and not to mention everything that we did is so versatile and you can use any and, kind of fruit. And, and most importantly, inexpensive. Fruits and vegetables oh are my so gosh, inexpensive right. and it's so important just to take care of your health and take care of your body because you don't realize until you are down Dead. and out on the bed for a week and you can't even get up. So take care of yourself. And this is the easiest way to do it is using things like this that have all exactly. the nutrients that you need right in one pack. Exactly. And they're all so delicious and so customizable. So if you guys want to see all of these, like Jordan said, everything will be linked down below for you guys. And yeah, if you guys have any other recommendations on what other kind of recipes you guys want to see next. Yeah, let us let know us and know. give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy these cooking style videos because we definitely want to be in the kitchen more cooking for you guys. Yeah, because we're so natural fun. born chefs, so we might as well be here. So. <laughs> so that's basically it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button you know, on your way out and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.